Hi, this is Jason Smith with my partner in crime, Don Boudreau, here for the girls' basketball preview for Revere High 2023-2024 season. The captains have graced us with our presence today. They are all seniors. The trifecta sitting down watching us are Bella Stamatopoulos, Haley Belois, and Belma Velik. Thank you, ladies, for coming. Um, obviously, a lot of changes from last year. Changes for the good. You went from a team that had no seniors to a team that's laden with seniors this year. Some transfers in, a bit of a coaching adjustment. Uh, you guys played the first game of the season last night against Marblehead. A solid effort. Unfortunately, you didn't win. But what can you guys tell us about what you're thinking? How's the season looking? What do we, what do we got? What do we got going on? Should I say it? <laughs> Bama's a junior. Yeah, I'm a junior. Well, then, <laughs> then Thelma, you need to talk to your coach. Yeah, she, she, had you she promoted you to a senior. Yeah, I'm okay. You're getting, yeah. you're getting out a year early. We That's were like, fine. I was like, don't cut him off, don't cut him off. <laughs> Who, I, so is Alicia, Alicia, Alicia Jean is the transfer. Yeah. She's yeah. a senior. Mm -hmm. She came from Lynn English. Yeah. And Juliana Bolton's a senior as well, right? So mm -hmm. along with... Uh, with Rocio. Rocio. So those are the seniors on the team. Yeah. And so you sure you don't want to be a senior, Belma? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm All right, good. So we got another year of, uh, of Belma on the team. Oh. Um, what could you guys tell us about the new additions? Obviously, like I mentioned, Alicia Jean is a senior who transferred in from English. What's what's she adding to the team? How's, uh, how's the chemistry working with her? Um, a long time ago, I played AAU with Alicia, so I played with her already and mm -hmm. we kind of worked together very well and she brought the team like I feel like she brought us closer as a team mm -hmm. and she fits in perfectly fine with all of us. Yeah um, I also played with her a while back. Um, it's really good to have another person, another big body down low mm -hmm. um, especially between like me and Shayna just having Alicia also in that mess um, definitely makes us stronger. Um. I think she had some height to the team. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think we all played with her around the same time. Yeah. She she brings a lot of grit to the team. Like yesterday, she was the first girl to dive on the floor. I think she's a great addition. Good. Awesome. And then uh, another new player who saw some time last night was uh, another freshman, Sarah Lacob. And I butchered her last name because I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> it. Sarah, I apologize. What uh, What's Sarah bringing to the table? And is it, it it's good to see somebody stepping up from, you know, an underclassman jumping in? Um, I think she's pushing us. I think I think she really has potential to be like um, a good player coming up and next year really fill in some some big roles. Um, she definitely pushes us. I think tryouts she was like killing us, doing suicides and stuff. And it was you know you see the freshman running and that's that that motivates you. Good. That's, that's awesome. good. That's always good. <laughs> what about uh, what can you tell us about the coaching change? Uh, now obviously it's not a, a completely new face. Uh, Coach Rivera did a great job running the JV team and also with the varsity last year and she stepped right into Coach Perrazzo's shoes and, uh, and hit the ground running. And obviously the rest of the staff stays the same with uh, Mike Machichi and Coach Canales and Coach Lake. And Did they add somebody or is that is that pretty much the coaching staff? Was anyone? Victoria Correa, Victoria Keith's daughter. Correa? Okay, yeah. so Keith's daughter. Oh, awesome. So they do have a, another addition to it. Any, any changes, anything that wasn't there, a lot of continuity or... I know I'm pretty scared, <laughs> so it's it's tough. I'm intimidating. Um, I think it's all positive changes. Like Good. we all love Rivera as a coach, um, so I think it's great. And starting off last night with our first game, I think it was great. Yeah, I mean we all loved having her um, previously. Now that she's filling like an even bigger role, um, just means so much more. And especially having someone who played, who was like a female athlete um, in in basketball, so it just makes us feel so much more closer to her. Mm -hmm. So with her and the familiar face, the practices are different than they were. So she's pressing you a little bit more. So you've got the, yeah. the same. And, yep. and again, I noticed some of the defensive schemes. And you guys definitely broke the press a lot better than you did last year. That was one of the, uh, the things that was tough to do. And, and obviously, you lost a lot of games due to injuries. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see everybody yeah. on the floor yeah. at the same yeah. time. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we were talking. And if you had played uh, a team, Marblehead's Division One, right? Yeah. So if you had played them last year, the score would have been a lot higher than it was. What what can you guys tell us that sort of changed and that you kept it close and, and you almost took it last night if it had gone a, a different way? I, I think last year there was a lot of inexperience per se. We didn't really have any seniors to, to like show us the way or help um, you know fill in the roles where like when we started to get nervous. So I think now coming in as um, 
seniors, but also being like conditioned, experienced captains really helps us and will kind of help more since we have cap we have all of our captains are now multi-year captains. Mm -hmm. So like having that is going to set us apart for most teams, and we have a lot more of that experience to bring to the table, which like last year we didn't get to have. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, who's the team to beat in the GBL this year? In English. English. In English. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you think because uh, a lot of the other kids graduated out, right? A lot yeah. of the, the seniors, like from classical. Yeah. Classical, classical, I think, was undefeated last year, but they lost. The they lost like three important yeah. players. Their top three. I think you have classical and English next week. We right? do. Yeah, yep. We do. Yeah. Big week. So right <laughs> off the, right out the, the gate. Yeah. yeah. So you you guys do you circle dates on the schedule? Do you like yeah we're we're ready to get to classical? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> So is there anybody else you guys are looking forward to on the schedule? Somebody that, that you have a little uh, redemption you need to get against? Malden. Malden. We were, all three of us were out against Malden the last mm -hmm. time we oh played God, them. Yeah. That's the first time they've yeah. beat us, I think. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, need, I need that redemption. Need that redemption. I got to get them back. Yeah. 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 Nice. Very good. Um, what, do you, uh, what do you guys got planned for the holidays? Basketball. Basketball. <laughs> basketball. That's a basketball. Holiday yeah. tournament. Yes. So yeah. when's, uh, when's the holiday tournament starting up? Um, We're still looking for another team, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. We got like some Boston Academy oh. on the schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like green. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right. Good. What about the, uh, what about the Boston Garden? This superlative that I was sent that you guys have a chance to play at the Garden. I've, yeah. I'm close to 50 or older than that, and I never played at the Garden. But you guys are going to have the opportunity. What can you tell us about that game? How'd that come about? And what can, how can we see you guys? So I think the boys played two years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, immediately we were like, how do we do that? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, our, I think we found out last year we had to do a lot of fundraising because it's a charity game. And now we all were selling tickets, doing whatever we can to fundraise and fund that opportunity. Yeah. And the, the flyer, if, if people want to go on the Revere High Girls uh, basketball page on Facebook, is there a way, another website that can find it on? I know they can go to Ticketmaster or the TD Garden where you get any tickets for events at the Garden. They can buy those as well. Do, do we have someplace else that we see them? Do you guys have physical tickets or is it all just via the flyer and the QR code? Yeah, everything is by the QR code yeah. online. $25 for a ticket, guys. Okay. Come you watch get, us. You get to, us. get to see them at the Garden and that's... Yeah. Right. And what's really the, we know what the cause is for, what what the charity is, or no, maybe no. Well, we can find we, out. We should yeah. know that. We'll, we should we'll find out. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sure it's a very <laughs> worthy <laughs> cause. Like, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Yeah. So, but it serves two purposes, and it gets you guys to play on the green, which yeah. would be nice. Yeah, it'd be great to see our uh, our hometown kids there, and then you know again. I so, don't. Oh, no, I was just going to say I don't know if you've seen the the in play tournament that the Celtics play with the court. I I don't know how you feel about the court. With that, with that color, but I kind of like it. But mm -hmm. most people are telling me they don't like it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's, uh, it's again, it's bright. yeah, because you, you're trying to bring them something that they're not. If I think of the garden, I think of the parquet. Right. I just I just want to mm -hmm. see where yeah. you know Bill Russell and Larry Bird yeah. stepped mm -hmm. in, yeah. in the quarters in between. The, I just mm -hmm. that's that's what I want to see. It'll be fun to see you play there, though. Yeah, where the boys had a blast. They loved it. Absolutely. We're we're looking forward to it. I think you guys are going to do great. I think we expect big things. How far are you guys? How many games are we going to get to in the uh, in the playoffs this year? We're, we're hitting the tournament. I mean, that's a <laughs> foregone conclusion already. So, mm -hmm. where are we going? We're going to semis. We're winning it all. Where where are we taking it this year? I don't want to jinx it. I, don't yeah. know. Yeah. I like that answer. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you ladies want to leave us with? Anything that you want to say? Any Any shout outs to the peeps at home? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, come to the garden game. Come yeah. to the yeah. garden come game. See us play. Support us. Mm -hmm. Can I ask how long you've been playing basketball? I feel like you guys have been playing a little longer than I did. Um, I started taking it a little bit more seriously in fifth grade, and then travel in AAU all throughout middle school. And then, of course, now we're still playing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, oh. way since like the like Beachmont skills and drills all yeah. the way back. Yeah. All the um, way back. It's great. It's great. It's your last year. I I know we we're old now, so I can remember. You know, your last year is special because every game closer to the end is unless you're going to be playing in college. I mean, there's always you know adult leagues and, and rec leagues, but as far as this type of basketball, just take it all in. 
one game at a time, enjoy it, because you're going to miss it when it's gone. But it's really nice you guys came down and talked to us. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate yeah. it, and I know everybody watching will appreciate hearing what you guys have to say. And we'll all see you at the Garden, and, mm -hmm. and I know the home opener is next week. Yeah. Yep. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll get out to as many games as we can. And, and it's very exciting to have such a quality program in Riviera yeah. and to have a high school team that people enjoy watching. And every game there's a potential for a win. It's not you, you go to the game and it's just, okay, because I'm related to so-and-so, i got to go to the game. It's, <laughs> you go to the game and the, and the fans cheer. And that's another thing. You know, the Marblehead game that was on YouTube last night, all I heard was Riviera fans. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. You know, absolutely. Going down the hallways telling you, your classmates to come see the game, come to the game, come to the game, get them to go. Because yeah. the louder it is, the funner, more fun yep. it is. Absolutely. All right. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you guys for coming and uh, talking to us about the brief preview of the girls' basketball <laughs> season. Yeah. We, uh, we look forward to wrapping this up at the end of the year after you guys have won the title and we can, you know, have a <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. And best of luck on a great Thank season. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Never give up, right? Never yeah. give up. Thank you for having us. Thanks.